הלו, עמנואל שחף. הלו, הלו. Identity, the quest for Israel's future. We are creating this uh, video interview in a very, very unique episode of time in Israeli politics. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we, we're just one day after the law that was supposed to extend uh, uh, the ridiculous situation in the West Bank for another uh, five years or, or, or for one, another year. I don't know what exactly the, the time span they wanted to extend it by, but as you, uh, as you may know or, or, or not, uh, the situation which gives basis to the apartheid claim that uh, uh, enables Israeli law, enacts Israeli law in the, in the territories for Israeli citizens only, um, is, uh, is just failed in, in the Knesset. And, uh, and therefore, uh, unless uh, they manage to pass it till the end of the month, uh, the uh, West Bank will refer to be a full, uh, full occupation status without any uh, arrangements for Israeli citizens and without the apartheid state, uh, claim. So uh, one law for one person. One, lo one law <laughs> for one for one area. Okay, for the whole everybody who is in 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 the in the territories will then be under one law, unlike uh, what the situation is right now. Uh, and, and that's an interesting... First of all, it's very interesting that uh, people, you, people weren't much aware, aware of this law and, uh, uh, and it, it wasn't discussed very much, and now it all of a sudden becomes uh, part of the public uh, discussion. Uh, and uh, I think it was uh, expected too much from the Arab parties in the Knesset to vote for that law, and indeed they didn't. Uh, so the law didn't pass, so we have to wait and see whether they'll be able to reenact it. And the Likud party basically vote uh, against... Vote against, it, it, you know, voted against the, the, the law, despite the fact that, uh, that Likud voters are, are prominently uh, 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 represented in the West Bank. No, it's around 50, 55 years, but also in these days 40 years. Yes, we are 40 years after the Lebanon War. And uh, there's an interesting publication from a, f a few days ago where uh, documents were published uh, reporting on uh, a meeting between Menachem Begin, uh, the Prime Minister, Israel's Prime Minister at the time, and uh, Ronald Reagan, the U.S. President. Uh, the meeting took place about two weeks after the war started in June 1982. And, um, uh, the question of what to do with the Palestinians arose in the meeting, and uh, Reagan asked, what, sh what, sh "What shall be the final arrangement?" He actually actually used the word "final solution," but uh, arrangement but, uh, is better. Uh, <laughs> arrangement is better, uh, and uh, and Begin, of course, uh, you know, he he didn't uh, give a clear response. He said, "We have to do this and this and this and all kinds of things," but the, the issue is still on the table. And uh, we we're trying to you know get away from it, but it won't. We won't. So, practically, the neglect of dealing with giving the accurate either answer, it's formally over more than forty or fifty, yeah, fifty-five years. Whichever. If we haven't dealt with it, and we're not dealing with it, and as long as we're not dealing with it, we're going to go around and around and around and. Uh, the, our uh, instability, which is presently uh, felt very much in the political sphere, is beginning to uh, have uh, effect around us. You know, Lebanon is getting uh, very severely uh, uh, destabilized. Uh, For example, uh, there are there are uh, there are issues inside Lebanon. Everybody is following that. You know, Lebanon is a failed state. Uh, but now there are things starting with uh, with us on our border. There were several border incursions, which was never a good sign because when the border is quiet, everything is cool. When the border when there are border incursions, there's always the boding of something, foreboding of something worse to come. There are issues of uh, sharing the uh, economical uh, waters of uh, Israel and, uh, and Lebanon with uh, uh, natural gas. There's, there's considerable disagreement. There are competing claims, and there's also uh, issues of water sh uh, uh, usage in the north. So these uh, give rise to fear that actually the situation may deteriorate 
at a very bad time for Israel, were we not organized? Instability also in the Palestinian in, in the, the Palestinian Palestinians. Authority. Uh, the Palestinians are uh, suffering from uh, the price increases. Um, prices increases in the Palestinian Authority are between 15 and 20 percent. The PA has not paid the uh, salaries, the May salaries yet. Uh, there's a uh, general strike is in the, in the offing, and that's coming um, at the same time as uh, uh, Abu Mazen appears to be not well, and there are rumors that he's in, being treated in an Israeli hospital. We don't know about that, uh, and that his some of his authorities have been passed on to Hussein al Sheikh. Uh, so that's also an unstable situation which is coming together, and you know everything is being unstable. Uh, so. Uh, these are not good times for... Also, the new poll, unstableness yes. in between and the, the uh, feelings between the Israelis and the Arabs. Yes, unfortunately, uh, but not unexpectedly, the, uh, the feelings between Arabs and Jews have, have deteriorated. Uh, a, a year ago, 45% uh, of uh, Jews uh, were against uh, living with Arabs. And now it's 60 percent living together with Arabs. Still, there's still support for working together, so that's that hasn't decreased. You're referring for Jews and Arabs in Israel. Jews and Arabs in Israel. Yeah, I'm not talking about uh, anything else. Uh, also, uh, Arabs f uh, feel more discriminated against uh, than they used to, uh, and Jews think that Arabs are less discriminated against than they used to. Uh, Arabs uh, want to uh, take more part in the decision-making process in Israel, and Jews don't want them to take more and want them to take less. So these are all fallouts from the situation in the Guardian of the Walls uh, uh, in, 1920, in, in 2021, uh, and uh, we have to counteract them. Is there any first step, and this is coming for, for the upside, for the good news, that as part of the federation movements that you are sharing, let's do one move that can change the way that people are uh, thinking I, towards each other? I think the, the only re way we can actually uh, um, get people to, to help and make a real change is by uh, establishing a mass movement of one man, one vote, uh, civil rights for everyone, uh, that's the only way we'll be able to, to do that, uh, both uh, in the Palestinian Authority and in Israel, to, to work together, and, and we're going to do that. Uh, when you're saying one man, one vote, it means that whether you're Israeli or Jewish or Arab-Israeli or mm -hmm. Palestinian-Arab, you have to have one vote oh, yes. just in, because you're a human being. In whatever, in whatever political arrangement, and we're not, we of course in favor of the Federation, but uh, in wh whatever federal, uh, whatever uh, political arrangement, it will have to be a democratic political arrangement, and we won't uh, uh, let a situation where, where some people are disadvantaged over, of, over others, uh, we won't let that happen. And when people are seeing this video on YouTube or Facebook and they are saying, hey, this might end the Zionist idea because at the end of the day we'll have less voices of Jewish Israeli that are living here, your answer to them would be? I, the answer to this is that Zionism, the way it's practiced now, cannot deal with the problems we have brought upon ourselves. We have to, it's not against Zionism, it has nothing. Zionism was the perfect thing for us in 1948, it established the State of Israel. Uh, it's not doing its job anymore. We have to think of something else. Federation is one of the ways we can deal with our problems. Uh, and it may very well be Zionism 2.0. Okay, I'm not the one to say that, but uh, but I think that's uh, I think we have to come clear with the, with that uh, with the facts that, that Zionism cannot deal with what we are dealing with today. Another good news for the end of this uh, report would be the timing that we are conducting this uh, video interview. Uh, the fact that the rules... That ah, that, are yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, come to me because it's important. The fact that uh, the Pardag rules didn't pass in the Knesset... Uh, for the time being? For the time being, and for the time being, and if, uh, if, uh, if we're lucky, they won't be extended even at the end of the, by the end of the month. 
It will have unbelievable uh, uh, implications and consequences, uh, uh, and uh, but but it will stop. So uh, let's hope. Let's see what uh, see where this goes. Emmanuel Shach of people that want to be part of the community and want to write only respectful remarks. Preferably, yes. YouTube, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook and to look for uh, look for uh, Emmanuel Shachaf or Federation Movement or Identity. Identity, the quest for Israel's future. Emmanuel Shachaf, I want to thank you very much. Thank you.